Hey everyone, this is Stushio Taku coming back with um, Pokemon Blue. So, as you can see, we're pretty much back where we were from the last episode, and um, we're still on the lookout for uh, Pikachu, and um, are also on our way leveling up our Pokemon. Now, I've got a confession to make. Um, first major mistake I actually did this morning, so, wait till you hear this. Oh, there we go. So, I was actually planning to do an episode earlier on in the day, and, oh that's a day again. <laughs> and, um, so I started playing away, and I must have played about 15 minutes, and I uh, actually got some amount done, I actually captured Pikachu, I actually leveled up a good fair amount of my Pokemon as well, and, um, I wonder what I was actually done with this, um, the video, I actually noticed that I clicked the wrong button and didn't have anything that resembled the video for this for the actual video. I basically just recorded myself twice talking. I only recorded the sound and not the actual video. So to be honest I had a bit yeah I looked fair red faced after that so I knew it was actually gonna be an episode later on and by that I mean now but yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty not good, um, but thankfully I managed to uh, go back to one of my original saves, so, and, um, it kind of got me back up to here, so, here I am once again, without, without a Pikachu and my Pokemon still under leveled for what it should be now, so, so yeah, that was, um, that was great. <laughs> Ah, uh, right, so, what do, we, what do we want to talk about? Um, Glasgow, now, fully enough, it was really warm earlier on, but it seems to have actually calmed down a bit. Um, if only you could have heard me earlier this morning, it was bailing hot. No as hot as it was yesterday, but still, oh, needed a drink to somewhat deal with it. And, um, it's actually going quite milder now. It's actually the my windows are closed and um Yeah, it's not too bad, I know. Um funny enough, it's said that we might actually get some thunderstorms as well. And um yeah, that's including during the day and um I'll obviously accompany we come with rain. So uh I can't I don't think I'll see it, but you never know. It's like, um, it's like half reading now, so I doubt you'll see it, but you'll definitely see the rain if it comes. Definitely notice that. So, what can I say? Still on the lookout for this Pikachu. It was really- oh, in fact, that's- Ow, oh, that was close. I actually, in my previous year, they'll actually go, uh, 10 Pokeballs. I think that's a bit overkill full enough because we actually did catch Pikachu just using one so I think we'll just use another five because we ran out the last time so yeah I'll just get five Pokeballs and then hopefully that gets us our Pikachu. Uh, so that's pretty much the plan for this episode just to catch Pikachu and level up. Oh and I'm going to the wrong place. God I'm a numpty. I, I, I absolutely need to get used to this. <laughs> oh yeah, would I like to buy five Pokeballs, please? Shieldies. Thank you. Nope, don't need any else. Whew, so. Anyway, um, that's obviously the plan for this episode. Um, And funny enough, because I actually, I didn't talk much during the episode that I missed out on, so I'd, um, I still somewhat remember uh, what I spoke about, so, what are you talking about? Basically, um, the thing with Pikachu, and I know that'll get a 
a lot of why, you know, he's actually fairly useless. Well, well, as much as he has negatives about him, he actually has some positives about him as well. One thing is, he levels up quite quickly, and uh, that's because he's actually quite good against flying type Pokemon. So, if I ever capture him, I'm actually going to get a go down south of uh, like the last city where we're at and just basically take out all the all the pidgeys and he does that fairly quickly and by doing so he actually levels up fairly quickly as well plus he is really good against the uh, flying types against pidgeys and uh, spearows but also later on in um, the mount uh, the cavernous area where you get a lot of zoo bats he levels up quite quickly there as well so he's actually good in that sense, but like I said, um, he'll, he'll need a good lot of leveling up. Uh huh. And um, as soon as he's done with Misty, he's generally kind of. Hmm. He'll be in the team, but yeah, don't think he'll be much use unless I remember. Like, oh, who do I need to fight to? Uh, to basically, unless I know who I'm going to fight next. So, but yeah, I re level him up quite a bit just because of Misty. Uh, by the same token, by the same token, um, Butterfree will be leveled up as well. This is quite far into the future and further than where I plan to go in this episode but um, hopefully a fairly decent level to Butterfree and Pikachu will fairly defeat uh, Misty. That's probably, as pretty much everybody says, that's really the kind of the hardest gym battle you get. Both Staryu and Stormy are actually quite good actually. So yeah, ultimately when I level all them up, I should be in with a decent chance of beating Misty. So, but that's further into the future. For now, basically I want to catch Pikachu and then get all my Pokemon up to level 10. Also, I also want to see why um, I'm leveling my Pokemon up. Pokemon up, but why am I no challenging the trainers? Well, that's basically the strat I'm going to use to try and catch more Pokemon than what you would usually get. Now, if memory serves, I will be using the basically the average trick that gets you the, the two news, but I'm going to try and get it as many as many trainers as I possibly can get. Around this particular area I'm fairly sure you get nothing but Gengars and Ghastly if memory serves. But um, like I said that's further on. We need to beat the Elite Four and then we'll start talking about catching all the Pokemon. For now po it's not really the biggest thing. I will catch Pokemon obviously but um, it won't be as anywhere near as full as when I've completed or finished off the Elite Four. Oh, lovely. And, um, so yeah, I'm gonna be missing, like, um, whatever trainers I can avoid, I will do. And some foot does go into it, figuring out which trainers... Oh, perfect! Oh, it didn't cut, take me anywhere near as long actually finding this Pikachu. Oh, fantastic. Right, here we go. Serious time now. Yep, yep, yep. Give me a critical, maybe? Oh, there we go. Oh, please. Right. Hit and hope, hit and hope, hit and hope. Yes! Oh, there we go. Never in doubt. 
Never didn't. <laughs> Like me to put Pikachu? Nah, you're alright. Sorry if I'm being a wee bit unorig unoriginal here. I just, um, if I give them names, I'll be confused. <laughs> I'm not that smart for the honest. <laughs> um, yeah, so. So, here we go. We've finally got our final, our four Pokemon that I'm, that I'm basically going to use for a good chunk in these levels. All we need to do is level them up. So like I say, Pikachu, Pikachu is actually quite good at getting leveled up. All you need to do is basically put them up against Rattatas and Pidgeys and you'll do pretty well. Oh! Oh, that's lucky. Ah, oh, here's Pikachu. Yep, that's fine. Keep doing that. Oh! Oh, we can only hope he's paralyzed. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Right, I'll let him get them safe. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot to get. I need to do it. Just in case, of course. Ah, so what else can I talk about? Well, funnily enough, I actually spoke a bit about Dragon Ball Z and, um, in the video that never was, basically. <laughs> we might as well call it that. Um, I basically watched, recently watched Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods and, uh, uh, I don't know how I felt, but it wasn't, it wasn't great for me, let's put it that way. Um, I actually stated on Instagram that, um, yeah, I'm going to wait a while before I watch the next one, because it's just, it's just the same thing. Um, just, and I've, I know the Dragon Ball series isn't he known for its intelligent um, or its um, subliminal uh, context. Yeah, it's not known for it's not known for being smart. Let's put it that way. But I don't know. Daphnis kind of has its limits. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm no I I like stuff that's Daph basically. The example I used was um, a Commando by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, let's put it this way. Commando is all about big army killing about a thousand soldiers in the space of 20 minutes. Now, <laughs> um, of course that's no real life. Of course it isn't. That's not what it's all about. But yeah, still, you get away with it. And it's good. Um, for what it's worth, you don't need to switch your brain on to watch it. But I think with Dragon Ball Battle of the Gods, it's just, it's just, it's on repeat for me. And then it's just, it's just like, big, like, I actually say to myself, of course they had to make Goku a god. I mean, the thing about, God is, is that generally we have a whole history when we're talking about God and you know it's it's like um oh another thing to go we'll figure that one out um yeah I'll fight him you know it's there's a whole history about gods Roman gods Greek gods uh Christian and Islam and all that. In all the religions, there's basically a god, right? And there's even sometimes more than a couple of gods, so... I am not. I... <laughs> the funny thing is, is that I actually consider myself to be agnostic, but... 
I tell you what it is, just to go completely off track. I'd love if there was ever. See, now if anybody can steal this idea off of me, you're more than welcome to because it's far too much work than I'll ever do. But I've always loved the idea that what if you ever had an abridged series for Dragon Ball Z? And then instead of all the fighting and the level ups and you know, keep the Super Saiyan stuff, but what if instead of battling enemies that they actually had dialogue? But like um Goku would put forward an intelligent thought and the only way that you could defeat uh defeat an enemy is to basically outsmart them. No outsmart them as in like, oh hey, I'm around the corner and now I'm gonna punch her he then. I mean like actually out like them basically talk about philosophy, science, all sorts of forms all forms of intelligent conversation and as boring as that sounds, at least it's way more original than the usual of Dragon Ball Z. It's basically, I mean, I can sum up Dragon Ball Z in almost one sentence. Um, a villain comes down to fight Goku. Goku trains, basically, and then basically kills that that villain, or at least defeats them. And then another villain comes about, only stronger. So what does Goku do? He basically trains up and then fights them. And and then he does it again. Only if we're talking contextually, it's Gohan that defeats the first um, baddie, obviously being Cell. I think it has been a while, but yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. And it's just so repetitive, and it's. It literally DSX smacking us all the time. Hey, do you want to train for a whole year and a day? Well, would you know, we've got a hyperbolic time chamber, which almost does that. Like, yeah, of course you would. And honestly, do you know what the funny thing is? The one thing that, well, one of the many things that disappointed me about Battle of the Gods. In fact, it shouldn't even be a thing now. So, if you haven't seen Battle of the Gods, basically, a god is awoken up, like Rip Van Winkle, only minus a year, and they had this prophecy of like, oh, somebody beat um, Frieza? Oh, well then I've got to challenge this guy. Oh, supposedly it's a Super Saiyan God. Oh aye, well I think, didn't we know down they all day? No, no, there's still a couple alive and all that. So, oh, so well we've got to fight this guy then. Alright, okay, okay. So they, they meet up with Goku and Goku's like, of course I want to fight you. But he insults this cat god, right? Sphinx, let's call it that. <laughs> and so then this god goes to Earth and says, right, you've annoyed me, so I'm going to blow up your planet. Alright, alright. Here's what annoyed me. Goku should have been there the second that happened. You know why? Because, honestly, he basically, see, with instant transmission, that should took out at least half an hour of that movie. See Goku, and Goku knows that, oh this guy's gonna blow up here. Eh? I know what I'll do, I'll take my time and actually get here. So there's two things wrong with that. He, first one, he should have instant transmission right there to Bulma. Because that's where all these players go. So, there you go, instant, I'm gonna blow up the air. Wait a minute, I'll follow you. Bam, instant transmission, I'm on air. Two. And this one, it's, I'll admit, let me put it this way, it's slower than instant transmission, but, but it still should be done fairly quickly. So we, if you know Dragon Ball Z, 
You know that basically the lay of the land. It's basically not that far from King Kai's planet to Earth. All you need to do is fly through Snake Way and then BAM! You actually can hit Earth fairly quickly. So, what's my moan about it? Well basically Goku is a million times stronger than when he was the first time he traveled Snake Way. So his level is like up like a thousand percent, right? So how can he not travel faster? I mean he could absolutely pace dude Snake uh, Snake Way. Absolutely pace him, he should do, because he's a thousand times more powerful. But no, still takes his time saying, ah yeah. Just wait, I'll just wait until the Earth is properly in danger. Then I'll make an appearance and say, right, don't do it, or I'll batter you. And that was honestly one of the most di disappointing things, and I'm... And maybe, I think maybe, they kind of regretted the whole instant transmission thing. I think they should have done away with it. Because that would solve so many problems in the whole Dragon Ball series era. Honestly, I think it was literally, oh no. No, oh, that's a bad idea. But they went ahead with it anyway. So honestly, Goku should honestly just transport himself instantly the minute of any trouble he hears about. Yeah, so. Needless to say, I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> Way Battle of the Gods. Huh. Anyway, how are we doing anyway? Um, Metapod 7, Squirtle 7, Nidoran 10, Pikachu 3. Okay. So, um, I actually know when Butterfree is evolved, and that's level 10. I thought it was 12, but it's actually 10. I think it's, I think it's later on that, um, basically Butterfree's, um, OP moves actually come later on. I think it's like level 17 to get Sleep Powder. And Sleep Powder, I think is incredibly useful for when it comes to the two Muse cheat or glitch, should I say. So, um, like I said, if we could level up Butterfree and uh, Pikachu after we uh, fight um, Ash, um, they'll be the two that I concentrate the most on with regards to leveling up. Whew. So anyway, oh yeah, I don't know if I said this already, but it takes an age to load a video up. I actually couldn't believe it. The last video, obviously the first one, was like 48 minutes. It took about an hour and 15 minutes to actually get uploaded. I was just like, what in the name? That took an age. And it really, um, well, I put a dent on what I was doing last night, but, um, uh, now that I know, let's put it that way. And now that I know it, how to actually record a video, I won't make that mistake again, so... Again, what are excuses if you don't learn from them? They're just useless. Whew. Still moderately hot, but it's actually not bad. I say it's tepid melanin. No tepid, warm. Yeah. So, oh and them. Um, it's meant to be raining for the next two days, basically the weekend, so... Uh, definitely one for staying in for... I'm sure it's the same for everybody else around the world. Wherever you may be watching this. <laughs> Did fool of myself for only having... For only bringing out one video for my account, um, channel, so... Sorry. Sorry if I appear smug. I'm really not. <laughs> Like I said, I made a huge mistake this morning, so I'm pretty infallible. Am I infallible? No, fallible. Yeah, I'm fallible. I make mistakes. I'm 
I'm human, after all. Whew. So... Fully enough, another thing that I was actually talking about when I was recording this morning was the... I know I've mentioned Mew and Mewtwo, and you don't get Mewtwo until later, but we'll obviously get the two Mews later on, but what about the other legendary ones? No, honestly, I... I've... I know they're meant to be good, but I don't think they're perfect, and um... Because I've... The, the Pokemon I was talking about was Pikachu, and I said, well, basically the two really decent electric Pokemon is basically Jolteon and uh, Zapdos. And uh, I'll admit, I can catch them. I just don't think they're... I don't think they're that good. I mean, they're not... They're good, but they're not broken good, if you know what I mean. Basically, like, um, the reason that I am getting, like, Dratini and um, Snorlax is because, basically, they're... Um, their moves make them brokenly good. Like, um, if you get the teeny and he knows rap and agility, it, it becomes fairly difficult to actually beat them. They're not impossible to beat, but, um, um, they make it difficult. And it's the same with, um, oh, Snorlax. Not only can Snorlax regain his health points, and by which point I'll have um, uh, the polka flute. You can basically help him all the time, and only that he learns. Um, what does he learn? He learns amnesia, which greatly increases um, his, uh, his special, and that again makes him really difficult to beat. But um, these are all for things later on. This is pretty much going to be the slow part of this playthrough. Basically, 11 and 11. Oh, another picture, did you know? Amazingly, it took me an age to find uh, that Pokemon uh, Pikachu earlier on. Now they're like buses two at a time, for God's sake. Um. From what I can remember as well, if you have to beat Pikachu, um, the experience points are actually quite good. I might be wrong, but, um... Uh, also, another thing I have, I've noticed is that, um, when Metapod actually evolved, um, he didn't learn Harden. Now, I think they fixed that in later generations, maybe even Pokemon Yellow actually, but um, in this one, it actually doesn't. You just still learn those um, Tackle and um, Growl, I think it was. So yeah, I mean, alright-ish, but um, it would have been put in a way once uh, Butterfree had evolved. Like I say, Butterfree is actually quite good in this. Finding anybody yet? God, I love the music anyway. The Pokemon. Enough. Uh, let me pick it through. Yeah, speaking of um, Dragon Ball Z, I was gonna say there, um, I'm actually. I've actually went back to watch the original Dragon Ball because I've actually got um, three DVD sets of them. And um, that actually. I actually came to about 84 episodes. 
So, I imagine once I've uploaded this, I'll actually go back and watch it. I'm still on the first season, but technically, if you're going to be technical about it, I'm currently on like the first day uh, World Championship. Um, it's not really a saga. Okay, it's more of a chat from the other end, so... Yeah, and don't worry, dude, I've seen it all before. I've seen all of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT. I with a fair share of the movies as well. And, and if you want to spoil Dragon Ball Super for me as well, that's fine. Cause I, I doubt... I don't have any inclination to actually watch it. I mean, though, from what I've heard about it, the evil Goku. I mean, it sounds interesting, but it, I don't think it's enough for me to actually watch it. I just think it's, yep, still the same thing. Gods and Kais and fighting amongst each other. Sure, there's an analysis in there about warring nations in Dragon Ball C. Oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> yeah, so. Also, the one thing that I also did, now that you mention it, I've no spoke to anybody. Um, I mean, I could, but it'll just drag this playthrough even more. I really just want to try and play it my own way. And I, oh, and what what you may have noticed as well, and I don't have a map, well, amazingly, you don't actually need it, or I don't need it actually, but... Uh -huh. I pretty much know this route, at least the back of my hand, so to speak. So anyway. It's Friday, I'm actually going to get myself a pizza later on and have a beer as well. Oh, a third one, my god! And that's level 5, oh, for god's sake. Ah, I tell you, this game sometimes baffles the mind. <laughs> Um, I guess one interesting thing about um, this whole YouTube thing, if you want to call it that, of course, <laughs> um, is you know, um, you can do whatever you want with regards to likes or leaving comments and all that. This is me, honestly, the be all and end all for me. Um, it'd be interesting if it did. Overly gave myself high praise there, but um, ah no, I this is just a thing for me today, day in, day out. Um, obviously, uh, I guess the one potential concern I have with Augusta is maybe playing other games and getting them recorded as well. Uh, this will be something I'll look into, but. Like I said, that's kind of a million miles away, and I do have some other emulators, and I'm hoping that they work and record as well. They do work, I'm just wondering, do they actually record themselves? 
because this is how I'm actually doing it. Um, the emulator is actually recording this for me, and obviously I'm recording myself through uh, a voice recorder. But um, oh, that was actually quicker. Do another one, and then we'll level up to level nine. So yeah, um, in the app. To be honest, most of them are like Nintendo games and that. And, and I'll actually say this, a good majority of them I've actually not played at all. Oh my god. Sorry about that. I was, just, I was just noticing how many- Oh, 16, that's not so bad. We'll probably beat him. Yeah, so the majority of them I haven't played, but some of them I have. And then the other body is actually completing them. Now, I picked Pokemon Blue because it is just broke and it's so easy to complete. And, um, I mean, complete this game basically means you need to battle or beat after the Elite Four. And given how many cheats you can get away with, that's almost next to nothing. So, uh, that's another worry. Um, I don't think it mu makes for an interesting concept that they, well, no, scratch that. I'm, I, I wish, um, I wish, um, oh, there we go, perfect. Um, when it comes to these particular games, I really, um, I really want to complete them. And I think that's what makes YouTube actually kind of great because almost every game seems to have a playthrough here. Pokemon has about a million of them. Trust me, I'm. <laughs> I will honestly, my uh, playthrough will be honestly lost out in sea, given how many playthroughs there are of Pokemon. But uh, that's whatever. But um, yeah. So if say I'm stuck at a particular level of a particular game, it it's really easy to actually find out how to complete that. Not only that, you can actually go on websites as well. Uh, none come to mind, but I'm sure they are there, but... Oh. Right, take a look at you. Two, two, eight. okay. So... Does that, of course. <laughs> Again, apologies if this is this is kind of repetitive. You know, me only battling Pokemon and then just basically going back in. Um, I wish I could say this is probably the grindiest part of this run, but. Um, Basically, just before uh, Misty, it gets a wee bit grindy, and then um, I think once Mew comes in, it definitely gets a lot quicker. I'll progress a lot quicker, and um, it's just really just to get all my Pokemon up to level ten, and. Um, Basically, fight Ash and get a bit of money. Right, okay. Kukuna! I wonder what that means. Hey. Well, I guess that's not a total either. Metapod. This is kind of like a pod. Only meta. Yeah, that made no sense there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just, um. Just curious what it all means.
Funnily enough, I remember the first time I actually played this on my uh, on my laptop, and um, honestly, I was just I knew nothing about the game, and I was just I had like five Pokemon all at ten, and it was such a struggle. And the irony was. They weren't any good, it was a Pidgey, it was a Weasel, it was obviously a Squirtle and whatnot, but they were just useless. And um, don't know if I had a neighbor around, but it's probably true that I did. It was just so under under leveled that it just get battered all the time. <laughs> now that I know everywhere. Well, I know everything about it, but I know I share a bit of it. Oh, it's just way easier now. That's the heat coming back a bit, actually. Still, still no crazy warm. It's just still warm. So, Whew. anyway, um, if you are watching this, cheers. That's um, if anybody ever watches this or leaves a comment or does whatever, cheers. Um, it's um, it's something. <laughs> You can also tell me I suck as well. I wouldn't mind that either. I kinda do. <laughs> but um Yeah. It's cool, whatever. I won't be upset. <laughs> God, that's... Another thing I've kinda learned about doing this is it's like this is going to make me sound insane, but basically talking to you, if you're listening, that sounds so cheesy. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but um, basically, I'm here in my living room, I'm playing Pokemon, and my voice is being recorded. Um, it, there's something unusual about it, but I'm all about the unusual. Never let it be said. Um, and uh, it's something new, and new is always good. Change is always good. for this channel. Basically I really would like to produce a video a day, maybe even two. Um, I'm going to say most days, let's call it that. Obviously not every day but yeah I kind of like the idea. I mean um, you've got to start somewhere but I really would like to have something of volume, you know. Yeah, like I said, one or two episodes a day. Um, but um, obviously, I'll really need to look at other emulators, see if they record, and uh, if we can, if I can get the same result as I did with this, basically. 
and um, but that's certainly something for the future. I guess it. he's going to run a tackle soon so um, I'll basically put him at the front so I, he can get to level 10 and then I'll just uh, go back to Pikachu. Right, there we go. Yep, keep using that. I'm done with this thing um, challenge. I'll be back. I'll be gone for two things, but then I'll be back. Oh, barrel line. Oh, I don't know. I'm fairly sure I said this earlier, but uh. When I get Mew, I'm basically going to get him a lot of TMs that are just going to make him... Oh, for God's sake, so long. Right, anyway, we're back to things, okay? And I'm back. Hey, boy. So, 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 oh yeah, yeah. And you and my TM. Basically, it's just because you can learn the anything, basically. Right. Yeah, I'm basically gonna be like, just give them everything, make them absolutely atrocious to play against. Nope, not gonna do me much. Nope. Obviously, I'm not playing it the way I should be. But, uh. Well, I don't have any rock Pokemon, so. Sorry about that. And, um. Oh, there's an interesting one. Uh. Concerning the HM Flash. I know it's used only for only one place, but um, 
Um, I don't know the route how to do it completely in the dark. I know there is a way you can actually change the filters to actually make it look like, oh, I can totally do it without flash, but uh, I don't know how to do that either. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll, I'll get flash and um, again, this is later on, but just what I like you still. There you go. Okay, kind of <laughs> math. I'm not that kind. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yay! Level 10. Oh, and level 5. Perfect. What? Metapods evolving? I don't believe you. There we go, and we've got Barty. Alright, so. Like I said earlier, Pikachu is actually fairly decent when it comes to, um, Evolving at this particular point in time as well. Um, I mean, I could grind it when we get to like uh, the big cave, the big cave later on. But honestly, I think use basic it. So um, I'll um, I'll try and do it later on uh, when I'm closer to Misty. Because um, well, I'll just let you see when it comes to it. I don't know if you can hear this, but I'm having a beer right now, so... Oh no, 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 no! Yeah, I think. Um... Shocking thing is, it's only 10 in the morning, so... Haha, <laughs> that's so true. Haha! <laughs> uh... What time Oh, 20, 20 past four, so... That's acceptable. Maybe not, actually. <laughs> Shocking. So, like I said, Pikachu just goes through these like that they were nothing, and he levels up fairly well. Another reason that I really like this actually is because Well enough when I like um delete our uh, battle of the Elite Four I, be I basically end the game then. I've only ever really once went out of my way to actually catch as much Pokemon as I could. Like I've only ever done it once and that's why I say I could possibly get like 120 Pokemon. Obviously you're not gonna get 151. Um, the emulator, without cheating, makes that impossible, basically. And, um, cheat, by cheating, I mean uh, game chart codes and that, and, um, you can basically enter it, and then, then would you know, you can get Alakazam, when really you cannot on an emulator. Did you perfect? But, um, like I said, the, the method on how I'm going to do that is basically how I catch the two Mews. Well, I'm going to try and do it to as many trainers as I can as, as humanly possible. And, um, oh, what? Um, this is, uh, yeah, the interesting thing that this whole thing is on YouTube, it, it's really going to give me the impetus to do it. Whereas, 
before, as if I said, right, I beat the Elite Four, my Pokemon are over P, overpowered I should say, and um, yeah, I'm lost interest in it. But um, hopefully, like I said, it gives me the impetus to actually say, right, I've done with the Elite Four, now I'm going to try and catch as much Pokemon as I possibly can. So, all things I'm looking forward to. I mean, um, there's nothing really, really broken about this whole area. Um, it's just basically grinding out and, um, oh, fate. Ash later on. Can't believe I called him that. I actually liked the original Pokemon series. Disgraceful, honestly. <laughs> Uh, oh, what can I What other um, childhood TV series did I watch? I watched loads of love. Um, my favourites were um, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, without a doubt. Um, I don't know if anyone has heard of this one. Depends. Um, you need to be of my age, and I'm old. I don't mind admitting it. Uh, <laughs> sorry. And um, another good one was the um, Thundercats. Thundercats were really good as well. Uh, what was the other one? Batman the Animated Series was really good. Oh, I, funny enough, when I um, I remember being quite um. How can I put it? Full it with the Batman the animated series. They also used to do movies. And the movies were kinda dark as well. Level 7. Perfect. Um They had all sorts and um It's kinda funny looking at back then of what I I used to frequently watch but now I actually kinda like I have watched that, it's actually kind of shocking. Um, a big example is, even though it's, um, it was way before my time, I think when I was born this thing was a thing, uh, and it was a Transformers series, and I had, um, I had um, the movie, the, the original movie um, that had Orson Welles and Eric Idle. That's a wee bit of info, info for you. And, um, I used to watch it, I wasn't a fan, but I'd watch it. And funny enough, see, a couple of years ago, I actually got it on DVD. I thought, hi, oh, hey, bang it on, see, see what it's like. I tell you, it's the scariest movie I've ever seen. I absolutely admit to that. It actually stunned me on how... How horrific it is, and by that I mean, of course, the death of Optimus Prime. And I just remember thinking it's so dark in tone. It's like, my God, there's something fundamentally evil about this. <laughs> and um, I actually um, I didn't return it. I sold it because I was like. Oh my god, I can never watch that again. <laughs> there was something so sinister about it. Like, underneath the waves, like subtext, there's something so off about it. And I'm like, oh, I can never watch that again. I am shocked by that. Because by contrast, oh, and actually, too, 
I see. So this station. As a Wayne, I used to watch all sorts of things that I shouldn't have watched. I used to watch Stephen King's It, the original. I used to watch Nightmare on Elm Street. And I was totally desensitized to them. I didn't think they were scary. I just thought they were. They're just acts of fishing, fiction, I should say. And I'm like, I can't believe I got away with it. And the second instance is the one film that I watched infrequently was Arachnophobia. No. Funnily enough, I don't suffer from arachnophobia. I don't. Um, I can. I ultimately chalk that up to basically two things. My dad used to work in a supermarket, and he always used to tell stories about see bananas. They used to come from like other countries, obviously, but they'd actually come with white spiders, like the size of your hand. And I'm sorry if anybody. Uh, to that, but um, he used to tell the story for that, and I was never scared of them, so I thought, alright, okay. And the other one was basically my uncle served in the armed services, and um, he basically came back with a stuffed tarantula that was the size of a hand, and I looked at it and I, was, I wasn't scared at all. I thought, that oh, looks interesting. And, um, I figure out that way I was never an arachnophobic, but the film Arachnophobia to me as a child was scary. And here's the big plot twist. I watched it a couple of years ago and it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Oh my god, I laughed so hard when I watched it and I'm like, I can't believe I was scared of that. I literally cannot believe that. It's so funny! And I'm like, is this meant to be a comedy? Honest to God. And here we go, we've got Pikachu at level 8. Like I said, he levels up so quickly at this point. And I could grind later on when it comes to the cave and just kill like a hundred Zubats. And you'll be, I'll be fairly decently leveled, but like I said, I want to use all I want to move on. So, I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. Bang, bang, bang. I actually also say this well, in the video that never was. Um, it's very unlikely for Pikachu to die at this particular point. The biggest case for Pikachu to actually go back to the Pokemon Center is actually because the, the, the amount of things you can use uh, Thundershock will, um, will run out. So, very unlikely they will die. Not impossible, but very unlikely. And that's really the only reason why I'll go to the Pokemon Center is to get um, the PP back up. I also made an inappropriate joke about PP, but I'll not repeat it. <laughs> it was an awful joke. That's why I'm not mixed it. <laughs> oh, hey bother. Soon I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center. I'm, I've actually passed the point of where I was when I, uh, this morning. I'm actually, um, Pikachu was only at like level 7 when I actually stopped the video. So, or when I stopped playing, so we're actually doing no too bad. And don't get me wrong, Pikachu will die a lot later on, I can tell you that much.
and we press stop. My next Pokemon will actually be. Um, hmm. Do you know in a funny little way I think it might actually be Mew? That's how it's can how far away I actually am. So I don't want to catch um like um the bats or the onyxes later on in that. I'm basically letting that be. Let's see. Um, a lot of my Pokemon catching will happen. After oh sixty, no, 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 no. Um, well, Han, as soon as I've beat um the Elite Four, but I will catch Pokemon. I will. We're actually doing fairly well, actually. Getting us these pitches and I'll keep telling them. Funny enough, talking about another Pokemon game here, Pokemon Yellow, I'm actually not a big fan of basically the difference between this game and Pokemon Yellow is that you start off with Pikachu. But later on, people give you like the starting fee, like Squirtle, Charmander, and um, Bulbasaur, and I actually don't like it. Actually, I don't know why. I mean, um, there we go. Oh, there we go. Learn from the perfect. I just think it kind of defeats the purpose of it, you know. And um, Gary picked um, Eevee, and I'm like, all right, okay. Uh, from what I understand, that's what Eevee evolves into, depends on how well you do in the particular game, so... There you go, another piece of Pokemon trivia. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm not a fan, I mean... If you, if you asked me, it would have been better to say, oh, learning that, oh, you can catch Charmander here, or you can catch Bulbasaur here, and then you're like, right, okay, I like that more, but they just do them, and I think you can only get them once you've defeated um, their, um, the gym leaders and that, so, eh, not a fan. Not a fan of it. Alright, so... Since I've done this, I'm gonna find out what you say... Uh, how much you need to get to 10. Getting used to this recording malarkey, I'll tell you that much. Right, one name free. Right. And then get squirrel. No, level up squirrel. I probably will take him back up to Viridian Forest and let him fight like um Carpies and Metapods and whatnot. Uh I found, there you go. That's a level four one as well.
So anyway, leave a comment soon about who your favourite Pokemon was. Ha! Ha! Mine was... Oh... Beedrill. Beedrill's my favourite. We're not gonna get him, but... I'm just saying he's my favourite. Ha! 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 Also, this also deserves a mention as well. I actually like that artwork way more in Pokemon Blue than I do Yellow. I just think the sprites are just so much better, honestly. I think Mew's one's pretty epic as well. Mewtwo's actually looks insane as well, actually. Yeah, I think the sprites are far better than in here than Pokemon Yellow, honestly. So, um, Another thing we're talking about is basically, I will admit I'm only really good at the first gen Pokemon, that's basically red, blue and yellow. I did play the later gens, maybe in gen 2, but I just, I just thought all the magic was gone, I think, um, like all the more Pokemon and um, more types and I thought I don't know if it was like Pokemon Gold or something like that. In fact it was, Gold and Silver. And um, the whole deal about items was just... Oh, it was enough to drive you around the bend. I'm like, what is this all about? And in this game you basically... Four Pokeballs. Pokeball, Great Ball, and um, Ultra Ball and Master Ball. And then... You, oh, here we go, perfect. It's so many and I'm like, God save us. It's a bit overkill much in it. Switch. Oh, we're really close now. So, I, I'm not really a big fan of the later gens of Pokemon. And I've almost when Gen 3 was kind of, but I had lost almost all interest in Pokemon. Um, and then that's that's kind of where I fall in the line with. So, I probably won't play any Gen 2 Pokemon games, but, oh well, never say never, that's true, but um, I think it really will be just Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Yellow, and then we'll look at other games, obviously. Hmm. So, I don't know where it's stop the video to know or can I continue? I'm in between two men to be honest because hmm I suppose later on we it'll it won't take very long to actually get squat uploaded. Oh here I am I'm back doing this again so um as soon as I I think I'm gonna end it here. I think I'm gonna find one battle and then, here we go. Garvey. Level 4. Oh, that's right. And there we go. Oh, 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 right. That's really good then. Okay, and then bubble. Perfect. Right. So I think I'm gonna end it here. 
Um, 